What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at SoundHound AI stock guys. So let's do the technical analysis, the price action, the important key levels that we are watching, some of the plays that you have you can already see on my chart um, that we have taken, all in all great profits and then I'll also cover how moving forward what are the things we are looking at with, the, uh, with, that, with SoundHound AI here. Now, um, also please note, none of this is any financial advice, only for education purposes. I'm only sharing my opinion, how I read the market, how I trade the market, I take guarantee of nothing. You are solely responsible for your own financial decisions and outcomes. So um, I first wanna go over, um, we have here, DA Davidson adjust sound hound AI price target to $9.50 from $7.50. Um, so guys, again, you are seeing the same uh, drum roll that when the price has made the move, they all come after that. Like. Um, yeah, when the price has made all these moves, then analysts comes and they upgrade it, right? But you, if you have already been seeing my videos on SoundHound AI, you would have gotten this long play, massive $4 move we made. You could have also gotten the short play, a precisely great that we got onto it. You could have also gotten this another long play that we got, right? Now we are another into another long play that I have been talking about. I, you don't see that on my chart because I haven't really myself taken this particular position so i didn't mark it here but this was the long play we another talk we talked about um so but yeah so let's have a continuation of it like how are the things looking from here after and what are we watching okay so guys let's start off so i'm just gonna get rid of this now here we go okay so guys um in my last video you can just go to my channel search soundhound ai you will see the last video that i did on it so we talked about let's go to the hourly interval that's where the action is on this thing so we talked about that when it was going into this parabolic move that it's still bullish even if it's cools off to this you know seven dollars and 97 cents right over here we came back down there tested that level twice right and then straight shooting up now here's the important thing i always say never get too greedy in the stock market if you're in profit take some partial profits out throughout the way there's nothing guaranteed in stock market you have to size and size out have a stop loss and all of that right now from here, what we have is um, now SoundHound here has this resistance, $9.23, where it's rejecting today as well. We have a strong resistance here. So this is a double test of the supply right now. So it can do two things from here, either go up or down. <laughs> well, simple, right? That's how stock market does, junior trader. What are you talking about, right? Up or down? Tell us something more, right? Yeah, so guys, here's the thing. Um, the price action, this is the resistance, it's right now reacting here. I'll show you on the five minutes interval, but um, this is where I think you should, I mean, again, you can do whatever you like, but I would be taking some profits here, you know, if the position, like I already closed my positions here in these areas, right? Now, um, well, oh, well, also, let me actually take you to the 30 minutes as well, because I want to show you something. Um, so if you have access to my, you know, bot, again, links to my tools are in the description below, but you can see my swing bot already gave a buy position on this thing down over here, just from the level that I was talking about that after this is a breakout play to the upside. And we are still in the profit. We haven't gotten the close position, but um, you can, you should still take partial profits out even if you are using my bot. Again, this is what I just suggest. You can do whatever you like. I take guarantee of nothing, um, but yeah. I have been just following my bot over there um, for all the stocks, I mean, most of the times. Um, and then, guys, uh, here, yes, so definitely this being a supply zone, a resistance, uh, SoundHound AI has a potential to keep rejecting here. However, it's not going to just become bearish right away if it keeps rejecting here. Oh, it's rejecting junior trader, let me short it. Well, you, you, there is a intraday time frame and there's a swing time frame. I'll talk about both of those, okay? So on the swing time frame, no. It's not bearish here right now. Why so, right? So Junior Twitter, why are you saying so? Because guys, uh, we have a double bottom confirmed, right? At an important critical support level marked by my indicator, the black dashed line that you can see there. And we have also formed a pivot. Uh, we have formed a higher high, higher low. Now on the swing short, like even though I don't wanna do a short here, like it's a dollar stock, what will short out of it? But the breakout structure on SMC, uh, oh, sorry, not SMC, sorry, SoundHound is below $7.92, or if it also starts to break lower than $8.51, then can some short play as the price action develops, it can happen. And then you will have a stop loss on the other side. 
But right now, if it has if it breaks above nine dollars and twenty three cents, this thing can run up to ten dollars again, ten dollars and twenty five cents, and then eighteen dollars is another target to the upside. That if you move my indicator timeline to the back end background i mean you can see that level right now i'm i haven't done that but you can always if you have access to my tools you can just use it okay uh, links are in the description below of my tools guys so um okay so what else from here on right um we yeah seven dollars and ninety cents is the one right um and below that again uh, that was the level now if you lose this level yes this thing has now again cool off to maybe this trend line bottom trend line running and then also 200 hours moving average but otherwise yeah the level above 923 cents still an upside i would actually so yeah so so far now that like 849 cents guys these are the two ranges you are watching continuation above that 8926 cents and even if it comes down and finds support at 848 cents, it's still a good support. May potentially a bounce can come. If it breaks this level in a strong red candle with 20 and 50 hours moving break, then yes, we have a problem on our hand. Okay. Now, oh, well, let me take it to the five minutes interval, guys, because this is where we can be uh, talking a little bit more here. So on the five minutes here, we are still full on bullish on this thing. All right, we are still full on bullish, right? Now, the levels are still the same. Um, yeah, $8.49 cents and then, yeah, $9.22. Yeah, uh, yeah, guys, that's pretty much the thing. There is definitely, it's right now in the no man's zone, but breakout on either side can give it that potential continuation of the move, okay? Um, but yeah, for, the, for today, guys, yeah, you can also use my day trading levels plus. You can see these orange lines, right? Uh, we got those plays over here uh, today it found support there went up went up went up went up to our next levels right just straight level by level uh, my tools already marked all these levels are automatically but the other question being does soundhound ai has more room to run to the upside well possibly yes if it gets above nine dollars and 22 cents okay um, but at this point you have to see oh well sorry at this point you have to see how strong this holds right um, it's a good candle today, right? It's just a pullback candle and we have a green candle. Now, this breakout above $9.22 can also get it to $10.25 and breakout above that, guys, you can consider then more upside there, right? So yes, there's another breakout play above $10.23, but as I said, never get too greedy, always have your stop losses, but things so far are looking great. There is no structural change on this as long as it's above $8. Well, $7.59, cents, $8.00. Uh, sorry, seven dollars and eight nine eighty nine cents, and also, um, yeah, pretty much eight dollars. You can say that way, right? Seven dollars and a few cents, but yeah, you can just put it simplicity eight dollars, right? We are still in the long term bullish as long as it stays above eight dollars, but definitely eight dollars and fifty one cents can be a shape shifter here, okay, on this thing. Cool, good stuff, guys. Look at it. So many good plays we took on this, right? We took this long play right make money we took the short play as well after earnings made money on that we took another long play on this made money on that then we talked about also this potential play i didn't take as you know i didn't take this position but um yeah the last one so but yeah all in all soundhound ai is working great for us guys well so that's soundhound ai i'll do other semiconductor videos as well um i just want to show you what's qqq i'm already in the short play making money on it this is in my profit already on the other hand, we have SPY has done the break of structure in my opinion. So I think it has more room to keep cooling off now. I think market will cool off now, guys, I think. Um, and then I'm just gonna show, I'll do another video on Nvidia, but just wanna show you that Nvidia is quote, looking weak. I'll do another video just to you know provide more context on this, but yes, it is looking weak. There are certain levels as if it breaks, it's over. It's over, guys, it's over. All right. Um, SMCI, just, I'll do another video on this as well over the weekend, but you can see the short play that I have had opened on this. This is working out great as well, so all awesome. And But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Most importantly, Soundhound AI is what I want to cover. With that, I'll see you in my next videos, guys. Take care. Bye.